The Russian T-90MS main battle tank, MBT, was publicly unveiled in 2011 as an enhanced iteration of the T-90 tank, originally developed for export purposes. It is also known as Tagil or Prorev. This tank showcases various improvements and upgraded operational capabilities when compared to the original T-90 model. The T-90MS was intended for potential international buyers, and in 2017, reports surfaced regarding a contract signed to supply a significant quantity of these tanks to an undisclosed Middle Eastern country, possibly Kuwait. Additionally, in 2019, India finalized an agreement for licensed production of 464 units of the T-90MS main battle tanks for deployment within the Indian Army. The T-90MS Tagil MBT features a novel welded turret incorporating a turret bustle, although this space is utilized solely for storing ammunition externally and cannot be accessed from within the tank. This combat vehicle boasts improved composite armor and is equipped with built-in relict explosive reactive armor ERA, instead of the previous contact 5, which enhances protection against tandem warheads and reduces penetration by APFSDS rounds by over 50%. The Tagil is outfitted with rubber side skirts integrated with armor. Furthermore, the tank incorporates a countermeasure system that deploys smoke grenades upon detection of a laser beam, significantly minimizing vulnerability to enemy anti-tank guided weapons utilizing semi-automatic guidance. The standard features of NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems are also present, along with an interior lined with a spall liner. The T-90MS is armed with the advanced 2A46M-5 high-precision smoothbore gun, a 125mm weapon with an extended range and improved accuracy compared to the baseline T-90's 2A46M gun. It can fire APFSDS, E, and HEFRAG rounds, and it also accommodates 9M119 Reflex, NATO designation at 11 Sniper B, anti-tank guided missiles, which can be launched in the same manner as standard munitions. These missiles possess a range of 4 to 5 kilometers and can engage low-flying helicopters. The tank carries a total of 40 rounds for its main gun, utilizing a proven carousel-type autoloader. However, unlike its predecessor, the remaining rounds are stored in the new turret bustle rather than within the crew compartment to reduce explosion risks. Secondary armament comprises a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 7.62mm machine gun, both of which can be operated from within the tank's armor. The T-90MS Tagil is equipped with the Kalina fire control system and updated observation and aiming devices, providing the tank with hunter-killer engagement capability. The tank commander employs a panoramic sight with thermal imaging to locate targets. Once a target is designated, the gun is automatically aligned with the target, and the gunner completes the aiming and firing process. During this time, the commander searches for the next target. Additionally, the target acquisition system tracks selected targets automatically. The tank's accuracy is claimed to be 15 to 20 percent higher than its predecessor. The crew consists of three members, the commander, gunner, and driver. Powering the T-90MS Tagil is the new V-92S2F turbocharged diesel engine, generating 1,130 horsepower. This engine is paired with a 7-speed automatic transmission, representing a departure from manual transmissions in prior Russian tanks. The tank suspension and drivetrain have been improved, resulting in enhanced road speed compared to its predecessor. The Tagil also features an auxiliary power unit that operates all systems when the main engine is off. It is equipped with a deep wading kit that can be installed by the crew in around 20 minutes, allowing the tank to ford water obstacles up to 5 meters deep. Additionally, the tank comes with a self-entrenching blade, enabling it to create an emplacement within 12 to 40 minutes, depending on the type of terrain. Variants of the T-90MS include the T-90M, an upgraded version for the Russian Army, sometimes referred to as Prorev 3, Breakthrough 3. This variant was unveiled in 2017 and shares several systems and components with the T-90MS. 
The T-90M underwent trials in 2017 and subsequently saw deliveries to the Russian army, with a contract for 10 newly built T-90M tanks signed in the same year, along with upgrades of 20 T-90A tanks to the T-90AM standard. The first batch of these tanks began delivery in 2019, and they continued to be supplied to the Russian army in subsequent years. Notably, the T-90M participated in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine and was considered the most modern tank in the Russian army's inventory at the time.